What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. We're back for more of the HGTV DLC and we've got job number two up on the board. So you guys know the still house was our first one last episode. We killed it. We did a good job. Now we've got two options to choose from. We've got this one over here, which is a single story house kind of on the outskirts out in the, uh, the suburbs of town, or we've got this two story right here in the middle on main street. I'm thinking we work our way up. I, I think we start with the smaller one and we're going to, we're going to keep on working up, keep on improving. So here we go. This is a man's job. $6,500 budget, two choices, and seven rooms. Ed purchased this small house on sale. The couple that was selling the house split up during the house renovation, so some furniture is brand new. Unfortunately, the house is also messy, as what usually happens during a renovation. Ed has some doubts when it comes to choosing which of the existing solutions should be carried over and which ones should be rearranged to suit him. One thing Ed knows for sure, he needs to have a comfortable office. My man, Ed, we're going to make sure you can get some work done, baby. We're going to accept this job. And here we go. This is a quaint little blue house here. I like this. We've got the columns in the front. You know, it obviously needs a, a little bit of cleaning up here, but um, looks looks pretty nice. We're going to do a good job for you, Ed. So uh, here we go. Let's, let's just get into it. I'm going to start same way we did last time. I think we do a little bit of weed eating. This is easily the, the least exciting part of the episode. I'd like at some point to be able to get like a lawnmower and really be able to, to clean the, the front yards up. I don't know if that's going to be an option, but for now, the least we can do is just kind of grab all the weeds. We're getting skill points. It's, it's worth it. I think we're done. Let's head on inside and see what we're working out with. So it looks like we've got a choice here. What should we do about the furniture that's already in the living room? Leather furniture is stylish. Let's keep what we have. We will choose other furniture in a similar style. More modern materials and extras will be a better match for the kitchen furniture. Let me see. Oh, kitchen is super modern. Okay, we, we definitely don't want the leather. We're going to be going with the uh, the modern furniture. Absolutely, let's confirm that choice. There is there is no doubt about that. So we're going to want to get our uh, we're going to want to get our sell tool out, and we're just we're we're going to sell all this stuff. Get rid of the uh, get rid of the plastic. Get rid of anything we can. We can't sell this, and we can't sell this. Interesting. So he wants us to choose furniture for him, except for the stuff that he likes that are going to be hard for us to match with. I mean, sometimes clients can kind of be a pain in the butt, so we're just gonna have to do what they like, but unfortunately, it is kind of a drag. Moving into the bathroom here, looks like, oh, this is a beautiful setup. I really like the backsplash, dude. All those circles. Yeah, this house is definitely more of a modern vibe. Definitely something I can uh, I can appreciate. So that, that looks pretty good. The kitchen obviously looks pretty good. Back here is gonna be bedroom number one. Kind of an ugly bed, but I guess you like what you like. I'm, I'm not gonna put any judgment on you. We've got another decision here. Uh, former owners left this huge stylish desk. What should we do about it? Keep it, it's a piece of the house's history, or it's far too big for the interior. Replace it with something that'll actually fit. Um, I, I'm gonna go with Ed here, far too big. Sorry, we're gonna have to get rid of it. Get rid of the chair as well. Nope, he likes the, the ugly chair. Okay, you know what we're going to be able to do? Let's take this chair and let's throw it in here cuz that stuff is hideous. Actually, let me let me see if we can if we can fit both of these in here. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to fit both in here. Put that in the closet. Put this in the closet. Sometimes you just have bad ideas that it's all right, bro. We're not all cut out for for, you know, interior design. I'm not judging you. I'm just not I'm not going to abide by those rules. And then back here, we've got our backyard. Gorgeous backyard, my man, but we have some more weeds to take care of. So your boy is on that right now. Whew, tons of weeds out here, man. You really gotta, you gotta do better about this. Do we have, we still, I don't understand why we can't, we can't landscape. It's unfortunate. I, I feel like we could really do a good job, you know, cleaning all this stuff up and, and, and you know, putting out outdoor patio areas and stuff like that. But when you've got an out of control, unkempt lawn like this, it's just not possible. All right, so we're good to go. We've got everything in line. Obviously a very strong gray and black, modern, stylish thing going on here. So we're, we're, we're gonna get to work. Looks like we want uh, steel gray paint on the walls. Okay, so let me, let me, let me check that. We're gonna take a look at uh, steel gray. Ooh, we've, we've used this many, 
many a time in this game. So I'm gonna set up a couple of a uh, couple of paint cans throughout. Grab our roller here. Let's fill it up and let's let's just get to work, man. This is this is gorgeous. Just go ahead and take all these down. We've got to paint this entire thing. Although to be honest, I, I I do like the steel gray. We might be getting a little bit too much gray. I mean, you got to be careful. Like gray is obviously just it, it's it's a good looking color. It's clean. It's, uh, you know, it's it's stylish, it's easy to match things to, but you also have to be careful because it can get a little bit drab. And I'm worried the gray on the gray on the gray on the gray is gonna become a little bit too much. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's his vision. At the end of the day, you know, like we kind of discovered in the last episode, we don't necessarily have to agree with our clients. We just have to do what they want, stay within the budget, and that's how we get paid, so. We're not gonna do any complaining. We aren't living here. We're gonna let him live out his dream. Dude, I, I for, honestly, I, this this game is good for your health. I, I forgot how much I enjoyed this game. Just casually painting some walls. I mean, this, this it's just, it's it's therapeutic, man. Like, I, I love this game so much. I also just wanna say thank you guys. Like, I, I literally, in, in real time, I'm recording a, a second episode today. The first episode of the HGTV DLC just went live and people are loving it. Like you guys are giving it so much support. Like anytime we start up something new and I see stuff like that, it's, it's really, really cool. I get really excited. And I had a feeling people were gonna be excited about this. I've seen tons of you guys asking for it. I've really wanted to get back into it. I just didn't want it to be, you know, old and drawn out and, and you know, not exciting. So obviously the DLC made it exciting and gave us an excuse to come back. But um, man, overwhelming support. We're gonna have a blast with this. I'm excited to see what happens. I wanna play through the whole DLC. I wanna, I wanna, you know, kind of do all of the jobs, make all of the choices, do all of the things. And then from there, I mean, we can take some of the houses and, and really kind of get deep into it. It's kind of fun having like an objective though. You know what I mean? Like it's fun being creative and doing your own thing, but it's also fun trying to, to understand the vision of these, these buyers, like Ed in this case, and also, kind of putting your own twist on it. So I don't know, it's it's all pretty exciting, but we're gonna finish up painting here. Let's see how this looks. Take a step back for a minute. Yeah, see like, this looks good. I just, I feel like it's a lot of gray. We'll, we'll see, it looks like he's got, uh, he's got light gray porcelain mosaic wall tiles. We're probably gonna do like a backsplash in the kitchen and stuff with that. Floor tiles are floor panel palisander. I don't even know what that is, but I'm, I'm hoping it adds a little bit of color and a little bit of pop. Voila, here it is, we're done. So now we're gonna move on to our, uh, our wall tiles. He wants some light gray porcelain mosaic wall tiles. So let's see what we've got going on with that. We're gonna look at, uh, probably mosaic is a good, good keyword. Uh, light gray porcelain mosaic. So we've got some different colors. Got full tiles, steel gray. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say we just want the full tile. Let's buy a bunch of them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably use these as some sort of a backsplash in the kitchen, is kind of what I'm thinking here. So let me let me go to our tiling and paneling. And we're gonna kind of set these up as a uh, as a kitchen backsplash. We're not gonna be able to get that perfect. Yikes. I'd like to have that line up with the edge of the countertop, but unfortunately I don't think there's there's any way to do that. So we're gonna be okay. We're just gonna throw these up on the wall. See, this this is adding a little bit of of you know uniqueness to it, but it still is. It's it's just all gray. I guess we're really we're gonna have to get some colorful kitchen utensils and and maybe some slightly colorful you know furniture. It's it's tough though because modern stuff is often a mix of gray, black, and white. So I just like I, I wish he would have gone with a lighter paint color on the wall, but again. It's not our vision. This is all for our boy, Ed. So we're gonna listen to what he says. This is kind of weird. I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but I'm just gonna go for it because we're already here. I'm putting uh, I'm putting granite all the way up round the window sills, up to the ceiling, just to kind of keep it uniform. Otherwise, I mean, it, it's, it's just weird because like really the tiling shouldn't be up above the cabinets, but if we have a weird break in it, I don't think it's gonna look good. Really the tiling should just be between the cabinets and the, the countertop, but that's okay. You see like there's a weird break over here. I feel like we should definitely have the tiling at least in the top parts over there, but I can't I can't even really reach it. Come on. There it is. Grab that right there. We hop up here. Oh, nice. All right. Can we reach that? Yes, we can. Look at this. Your boys got that uh that MJ reach, baby. 
There it is, beautiful work. All right, so we've got our tiling done here. Looks pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. I think he is too. First up is the enormous wooden table. I do think there's kind of an obvious spot to put this and that's over here in the corner. So we're gonna throw that down right there. Uh, I mean, do we like the gray? Should we be going for a different color? Should we go with a white? See, like that doesn't really match. Let me see what else we have. There's a black. Ooh, I, th I think I like the black better. All right, so I'm gonna sell this and, and we're gonna go with the, the black. So we're gonna center this with the window and just kind of throw it like that. So that's done. Now we've got the, the Marua dark colored right corner sofa. Black with the gray legs looks pretty good. So I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this down for now. We might have to do some rearranging, but it makes sense so far. What's our next thing? A Yoki light colored chair. Oh, these, these are dining room chairs. So we're definitely, we're going white with this, with the black legs. Let's buy a bunch of these. He wants at least six. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're gonna do one here and here. Then we're gonna put two over on the other side, like so. And then we can put two more at each end. The gray derangement painting. Okay, this is honestly a, a bit scary. I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like this is, is pretty intense and grungy and just like makes me angry looking at it, but we're gonna keep that there. We want the snowy solace painting so let's take a look at this i mean these look good i'll be honest with them I, I i do think they they fit the vibe pretty well so if we could get those centered those might those might be cool on each side of the window bring this up maybe a little bit that looks pretty good i think this one has to come down one but overall i i, I do like i like the vibe he's setting with that those look pretty good i might put them each side of the tv over here but like i said we're just getting this stuff down so we don't have to worry about it later dark a mima dark high bookshelf so we're going to take a look at the mim mima mima dark high dark high right here so it looks like we've got some different options we can go with different types of metals different types of colors I'm gonna say, I, I think the, the black with the, the light, or the black with, nah, black with light looks pretty good. So I'm gonna buy this. Let's just throw this along the wall for right now. We'll change it up later. He wants, uh, oh, he wants two of those. Okay, so we're gonna grab an, another one and we can kind of center them for now. Again, we'll probably end up, end up changing that. A Nan wooden coffee table. So let's, uh, you talking about me, Nan? Hope you're not talking about me, Nan. Nan wooden coffee table. We're gonna make this. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking black with the black with the the lighter legs, something like that. All right. Let's buy this. Or should we go with a white just to mix it up? Should we go with a white wood with black legs? How does that look? That actually looks pretty nice. All right. I'm gonna throw that down like that. We want a rectangular carpet crossy. Not really sure what that is. But we're about to find out. Rectangular carpet crossy. We're gonna go with a, a gray or a dark gray. I'm thinking a lighter gray. Let's buy this. Is this something we're gonna be able to put under the dining table? He wants two of these. Hmm. I mean, we could we could probably. Oops. Shoot. I didn't I didn't mean to do a second one there. We're gonna figure that out later. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's also a, a rug lengthwise. So let me lengthwise. What size? Probably large and dark. Ooh. Okay, this this is this is interesting. It also doesn't it doesn't really fit. I mean, the red might be the best, but it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't fit this at all. It I'm thinking maybe in the kitchen, large one in the kitchen. This kind of kills the whole vibe though. There's nothing that's gray and white. I guess we could go we could go multicolored here. And should we center it with the sink? Something like that. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know if that that would be my choice, but all right, you do you, bro. I'm thinking not underneath the table. Let's let's put these over here by the couch is kind of what I'm thinking. Trying to get these guys centered. It's kind of tough, but we're good. Bring the couch back. Put this thing in on the couch. That actually that that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty cozy right there. All right, so we've got that. I think this thing is ugly. You know what? I'm I'm not trusting your judgment, man. We're gonna same as we did with the last house, except this one we, we can't even find a place for it. I'm just I'm I'm putting it out here. That that does it just doesn't match. I'm sorry. 
If it doesn't match, we aren't putting it in here, just to let you know. So we're, we're gonna throw these things out. Ed, you seem like a good guy, so I'm, I'm gonna get you a wall-mounted TV. It's $631, I know you didn't ask for it, but let's, let's get this centered with the couch. We're gonna want it about here. Let's move it straight forward and move it straight up. You know, kind of a, a decent viewing angle. How's that looking? Uh, not perfectly centered, so we could kind of move it a little bit over there, turn it on. How's that looking? Looks pretty good. Now, I say we take these. Let's go ahead and move these on each side of it. Let's kind of center them on each side. I kind of wish, instead of the lighter material, we would have went with the black. I think that would have been a better idea for these. We might end up changing them. I don't know, I feel like that doesn't look bad. We could put some plants and some little trinkets and stuff on them. Might end up, uh, might end up looking pretty good. But you know what? Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not gonna kid myself. I, I think we need the black. Black with the gray. Let's swap the sides so that they're opposite. All right, looking, looking pretty good to me. That looks, that looks nice. I think we need to move this one one to the, to the left, just like so. Okay, maybe, maybe even move the TV one to the right. Does that look pretty good? Yeah, that's centered. That looks good. Okay, we're good with that for now. We're gonna come back in, add some trinkets to it, but we've we've got to make sure we have enough room in the budget. Last thing in here is gonna be floor panel palisander for floor tiles. He wants wooden floors. To be if, if you want me to be honest, I think the concrete kind of looked a little bit better and it, it fit like the modern design. But are all, all, all right. I mean, I guess it matches the bedroom and stuff, so we're just gonna we're gonna throw this throughout. I don't I don't know that this was was the best idea ever. It doesn't look bad. It's just it, again, I, sometimes I question your your motives here, bud. Looks like the bathroom's good. He doesn't want to change anything in here. Let me check the bedroom. Ooh, oh, he wants to remove the bed. My man, you're growing up. I love to see it. So we want to mount narrow and wide curtains and also get the Orion boys bed. You want a, a, a boys bed, huh? Orion boys bed. So we're going to want to make this black wood, probably white colors. Can we make like gray? Should we do a, a gray in here? Yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice and it, it fits it fits everything. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. Now we just need to get these curtains. So we're gonna look for a, uh, we're gonna look for a, a narrow curtain, mountable narrow curtain right here. Shorts or just regular length. I think I'm gonna go with black. Some blackout curtains. This is this is gonna look pretty nice. So let's go ahead and assemble these. Throw this on the wall. Two screws on the left. Two screws on the right. Hang them drapes and you're gonna be able to sleep all night. The wide one here, it's gonna be the same situation. These are pretty easy to put in. You'll love to see it. And uh, bam, there it is. Bedroom complete. I think it looks pretty good. I, I do think he had he had good vibes going in here. You've got the white, you know, uh, whatever you call it, wardrobe. These, I mean, I'd probably do black or gray on the, the color but the wood matches the floors, I guess. So that's that's pretty nice, we've got that. And finally, last but not least, we've got the office. So we want a Cartaxo desk, rectangular carpet tiles, and a flex desk lamp. So I'm gonna start off with, uh, with the rectangular carpet tiles. Interesting, this is pretty cool. So we're gonna go with dark gray or white? I'm thinking we go with white. So we're, we're gonna throw this down. Where's his desk gonna be? Do we want it in the middle of the room? Probably in the middle of the room. So we've got that there. We're gonna go with the Cartaxo desk, which is a new one I, I don't think I've seen before. We're gonna go black and light. We wanna go, nah, we want, we want black. All right, so let's buy this thing. Which way is the, the front and the back? I can't, I think those are filing cabinets there. So we're gonna put this thing smack dab in the middle of the room. So much so that you can't even you can't even get around it. We're gonna want the uh, the flex desk lamp, flex desk lamp right here by this thing. We're gonna go ahead and set this up just like that. We could turn it on, make it look nice. We're definitely gonna want some sort of an office chair. I mean, he didn't ask for it, but we're gonna give it to him. Light colored office chair or dark? I'm thinking dark. Let's buy it. All right, so we've got this thing here. That would be so annoying when you have the, the wheels going on and off the carpet. Oh, that would drive me crazy. Also, our rug is not perfectly situated, so we're gonna we're gonna move this move this back one. Yeah, that's pretty nice there. Uh, light is not centered for whatever reason. So we're we're gonna move this like this. 
Uh, looks looks pretty good. Okay, decent looking office here. I'm thinking we put some sort of a plant over in the corner. I'm gonna need some sort of a plant here. Let me let me check out some. I think those are exterior plants. We want interior plants. Give me a give me a black wooden shelf. I mean, it, it really doesn't have to be much, but I just, I feel like we need to add a little bit of life in here. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna take a look at uh, at decorations, at plants, and just, just a couple little things. Like something like this is pretty, it's also a, a little a little big. We need something small. These are chives, so this is this is something that would look better in the kitchen, but I, it, it's kind of the, the vibe I'm going for, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do two on each side, and then I'm thinking maybe a, a fern in the middle. We're big fans of the ferns, you guys know. We put those everywhere. That just adds a, a little bit of like, you know, don't be stuck in here working all day. Enjoy your life a little bit. You know, life is out there. You gotta enjoy it. So we've got that looking pretty good. And uh, I I guess, I guess technically we're done. I I do feel like we could do a bit more. These shelves out here need some life. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna add some life to them. Should we make them? I don't really wanna make them perfectly you know, even. So we're, we're gonna try to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a couple of plants, maybe some like, uh, you know, little little trinkets and, and, and like photographs and stuff like that. I feel like we'll kind of make it look pretty nice. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure these are, yeah, these are fairly small. So we can, we can kind of set these up. How come I can't, uh, okay, it, it, I guess th those those aren't pictures you can place down. You have to put those on walls. I know there are some that kind of like you can you can put them on flat surfaces. Got a fun idea. Put some some wicker boxes in there so it offers a, a bit more storage. I guess can we can fit a second one there? Maybe be able to get one up top. I'm having to use our coffee table to be able to stand on this, but I I do like the idea of wicker boxes, and I feel like that kind of fits the uh, fits the mold a little bit. All right, so that, I mean, that that definitely looks a little bit better there. Uh, we do have a little bit more wiggle room with the budget here. I'm thinking, what about some sort of, of like a, a home appliance, like theater, like setup, you know what I mean? Like a, what am I looking for? The thing you put under a TV to be able to store everything and keep your boxes and stuff. What What's the name of that? Actually, in this day and age, you, you probably don't even really have those anymore. Like everything's built into the smart TV. So, you know, we're not, we're not going to go for that. We're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with some big black speakers here. That's actually looking pretty nice. I like that. I do feel like this is really empty here. Maybe we should just put some sort of a dresser or something. I don't, I just, I don't, the empty space looks weird. Could we put a fireplace? Oh man. Oh man, oh man. This is actually a pretty good idea. We can put a fireplace underneath there. Bada bing, bada boom. Whoo, my man Ed, I got you, brother. That actually looks really, really good. Okay, I think I think we can can put this back for now. Whoo, that's a nice little home theater setup. I'm I'm liking that there. Our budget's going down, but we're we're okay. I do I, I like the fact that we're kind of kind of fixing them up a bit here. I'm tempted to go outside and set up some uh, some solar lamps here. I feel like these look pretty cool. I'm gonna do it every every third thing here. So there, we'll skip to third one here, skip to third one here, and then we're gonna match it on the other side if we swap it around. So that looks pretty nice. You know, when you're walking up to the front door at night, these are gonna be all lit up. I guess we can kind of turn them on for now. It's not nighttime, so we're not really gonna be able to see it. But I feel like that's that's kind of a fun outdoor idea. I just, I went into our tablet and I searched modern, try to see what other cool modern stuff we could do. Hanging cupboards sinks and stuff he's not gonna want us to change that okay i'm just trying to i'm trying to find cool ways like w when we walk inside this wall looks super blank we could use some sort of a modern painting there all oh, this looks pretty good this wall is pretty blank this wall is pretty blank everything else i mean i feel like everything else looks pretty solid that wall's kind of blank but it's an office you don't want to go too crazy with that I feel like the three blank walls, I just really don't like. All right, guys, so we've got $39 left in the budget. I think I've done just about everything I can do for this place. I just, I wish I had more money. I'm hoping as we keep upgrading and getting more jobs and, and keep moving on up, I hope we get bigger budgets and more freedom to do what we want. But uh, I did add a couple of custom paintings and switched some things around. So uh, check this out. We've got kind of like an abstract 
vortex type painting right here. I feel like it looks pretty good. It kind of matches the gray vibe, ties in a, a few colors that this rug has and uh, overall looks pretty nice. Here in the bathroom, we just didn't have enough money to add to it. I think that's fine. Over here, we've added a wall clock. I tried doing a line of three clocks there. I was thinking of like having three different time zones or something. I don't know, maybe this guy's like a big wig and he travels all the time. This clock's obviously very modern. It looks good. So we're, we're just gonna leave it there. It's it's kind of barren, but like I said, we've got, we've got $39 left. Like there's not a lot we can do. Behind us is where it looks really good. So you guys know that the two paintings used to be on each side here. We've now moved them to this wall with the, the scone lights pointing down. I feel like those look really, really good and, and kind of tie everything together. And finally, last but not least, I got an oversized money painting here in the office to remind old dude just what he's supposed to be doing. Getting that bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So I, uh, I, I think that's a wrap. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's exit this. We're, we're going to complete this job. 88. Ooh, you completed 88% of the job. What are you talking about? What have we not completed? Have we, have we not finished all of his asks? I thought we finished all of his asks. Does he have asks for outside? Dude, none of his, none of his objectives are coming up. Maybe he wants something in the back. Dude, if he wants something in the backyard, I'm gonna be upset. No, he doesn't have any other asks. All right, you know what, I'm done. Complete the job, we're good to go. Photographing the apartment, ooh wee. That's what I'm talking about. That actually looks really, really good, dude. I like the plants we added in the off. Oh, there's a garage. Where was the garage? That's why we were only 88% done, but hey, I mean, 88% is still a B plus, you know what I mean? We'll take it. So hope you guys enjoyed. I guess we're gonna try to have to find the secret compartments in future ones. I, I had no clue that there was a garage there. We could have at least cleaned that up and got it up to an A, but uh, we'll take it, dude. I'm not upset at it. So let's see, do we have any any new jobs? We've got two new jobs. So we've, we have the one that we could have done earlier, and it looks like there's a new one over here as well. I'm thinking we do the two story next. So uh, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.